Hi, this is Joe from joesinternetmarketing.com, and I wanted to just touch on uh, real quick uh, one more plugin that uh, I felt was really handy, and uh, I wanted to kind of share it with uh, with you guys. So what we did was is so far in our plugins, uh, what we've installed is uh, a Kismet contact form, easy privacy policy, and Google XML sitemaps. I wanted to. Uh, bring your attention to this enhanced recent post plugin. Um, I recently found this plugin, and it's it's a great replacement for the uh, the default recent post uh, widget that um, that comes with uh, the default WordPress install. And what I'm talking about here is if you go uh, under Appearance and you click on Widgets, um, you'll have some of these widgets that are uh, allow you to display content in your sidebar. One of the widgets is called recent comments or I'm sorry recent posts and what recent posts does if you go to the front of your website it di displays um, a link for your recent posts in the sidebar. Um, and it, it's a great plugin but the thing that it, the drawback that it has is that it only let you display up to 15 of your recent posts. Um, now and it, it'll display every single one of your posts. Uh, no matter which category it's in, um, it'll display all of your recent posts, no matter what category they're in. Now, uh, th that may be fine for your website, depending on what you got going on, but if you start to, uh, you want to um, split up your posts into different categories, you may want to display them differently here on your sidebar, you may have you want to have a um, a list of uh, like for me, what I want to do on this website, I'm so I'm going to have bass guitar articles and all the posts that are in the category bass guitar articles. I'm going to say uh, maybe have another category uh, bass guitar store uh, or uh, bass guitars, bass guitars. Uh, where I'm going to list out um, articles that I'm going to create. Uh, around reviews of products uh, and then that'll also have my affiliate link to say Amazon or eBay or or some other place uh, that I've affiliated with to um, if someone likes that you know um, likes the item I did a review on then they'll be able to click through and buy it and of course I'll get credit for it and that, that, that's how I make money as an affiliate marketer so one of the widgets that I like is that is called um, it's called recent, or I'm sorry, <laughs> enhanced recent posts. And in order to find it, you just go to add new and you just search on uh, recent post. And this was actually in the last video, but I, I ran over the, the 10 minute limit for, for YouTube. So I wanted to re recreate this again. Um, there is uh, enhanced recent posts. And you just say click install and it'll automatically install it. Uh, down here and then you activate it and when you activate it what it'll do is it will create another widget a new widget available to you to uh, in the widget area so here's enhanced recent posts so what I'm going to do is I want this so in my in my sidebar I want to design my sidebar out here a little bit I like the search bar I'm going to remove some of this other stuff I don't want people to see a way to, to log in to my site so I'm going to remove that meta area so this whole meta thing I'm going to delete this widget Recent comments are great. Uh, right now, I don't have any, so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that too. Eventually, I'll come back and I'll add that widget back in, but I'll probably put it in the footer area instead of up in the sidebar. Um, recent posts, I'm gonna delete this too, but I'm gonna replace it with the enhanced recent post widget. So I'm gonna call this base guitar articles. Number of posts. Well, I want to. I, I want to have a lot of them there. I want to be able to let people navigate my site as, as easily as I can. So now all categories. Now that's the the, the default. Um, I want to show some categories. I want to show all but. So I want to show. I want to say some category. Uh, what am I going to do here? I want to say all but. So I'm going to say all but category three. And category three is my bass guitar store category and I'll show you real quick let me show you how we found that so in order to find out what the category ID is you'll, you'll need to do is you have to come over here to posts 
and to categories. And I've created two categories. I have bass guitar articles and I have bass guitar store. And if you and let me let me move this window up a little bit and notice at the bottom, see all this uh, this text in the footer. See down here in this area down here. I want you to pay attention to this footer area down here when I highlight over. Notice there's this this taxonomy taxonomy information that gets displayed. Let me pull this window out a little bit further. And when I highlight over it, at the very end of this long line of uh, this long text string, at the very end, see where it says tax underscore, tag underscore ID equals one. Here it says tag ID equals three. This is the category ID number that you want to put in that field uh, in the enhanced recent post field for which uh, which categories you want to display or not display. So my articles category is category ID 3. My bass guitar store category is ID number, I'm sorry, ID 3, articles is ID 1. So articles is ID 1, store is ID 3. So now what I want to do is I come back over to my appearance area, to widgets, enhanced recent posts, and so I want to say all but I want to hide posts from category three because this is this category is just articles. So I'm going to save and I'll say close. Now what I can do is I can also take another one of these widgets, pop it up underneath of it. Now what I want to say is uh, bass guitar store, for example. Here maybe I'll have uh, 15 posts. It's up to you, however you want to do it. And I'm going to say all but, and I want to hide posts from category one. So now I'm going to, uh, now I have guitar store, guitar articles. If I refresh the page, so now I have guitar articles and guitar store. So I just want to kind of show you a nice easy way to kind of be able to segment, segment your, um, your sidebar your articles uh, to different areas on your sidebar and to make it a little bit easier for your readers to navigate your site. I hope this has been informative to you. Uh, again, my name is Joe Wilson. I'm from joesinternetmarketing.com. Uh, I hope you like what we've done here with uh, helping you build your site. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to visit my website. Again, joesinternetmarketing.com. Leave a comment. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell me what you think. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.